put web service right so if you see these are all get what do you mean by get is that how to fetch data from web dev right like say this is the thing get suppliers right so this is web service operation which will get suppliers for any specified criteria like you give the id or reference id and all that you will get the supplier similar to that so get is for fetching data out of workday and then you have import import is loading data into workday right so there will be a similar similar web service which will just be of the top that import supplier or import supplier if import is not there then there will be a, a put put supplier right like this one this is deprecated so it is saying instead of this use submit supplier so submit supplier is for loading supplier into work yeah and okay. it is similar to any such case like there is a very common web service which is get workers this one this is for fetching the employee data out of work day right and if you click on this it shows what's the request and what's the response in response you get all such kind of data right now how to test this is we do it via workday studio okay so let me delete this one and put okay before that this is the tab which we use for exploring these web services which is called okay. schema explorer right the way to remember is you have web service schema that's why there is this schema explorer Okay, now you click on this W here, drop down, and say add latest Workday web services and choose Visdu. Now you have to give your functional area, right? Like say I am using, for example, this one, which is the Get Workers is part of Human Resources. Okay, so I will just search here Human, and it will come up. i click on this and i click on okay what will happen is it will add all the human resources web service here so if i click on this arrow it will show another sub another child and then again you have to click on the but before we go there till now do you have any questions anything yeah, uh, is not clear why uh, we use web service uh, basically to... web services so there are two things one is we did http out right that was for yeah. calling external apis which is vendor specific suppose a vendor has given you this is my url you call it this is the user id password and this is whatever and you will get the data for all that stuff we use http out but whenever we have to get data from workday via web service or load data into workday load data meaning any data load you have to do or you need to create something into workday via integration there is only one way and that's web service there is no other way right even when okay. you do inbound eibs they also at the back end uses web services but that is not visible to us because of the interface but yes in studio it is always and workday studio is used 90% of the time for inbound integration which means for loading data into workday it is used and in all such cases workday out soap is the component which is used for calling workday web services okay okay so let me go so down how about here yeah see uh, see uh, actually how these the web services collect the data from our tenant because actually, they are because i think okay. uh, yes yes go ahead i'm saying in workday cloud you have a separate 
protection for yes, yes. separate for all other applications which are interconnected so okay. in wordpress studio because you are connecting to a particular tenant via this cloud explorer right here whatever whenever your code is getting deployed it is getting into that particular tenant and it has that connection with that layer so it automatically fetches and do that you don't have to do any other stuff apart from calling that means, it, that means in the external or cloud or any yeah. other external servers yeah. the entire the entire yeah. our data will be present over there yeah. and it will create the same from there right when you are using external web service yes then that means you are calling some other cloud which is outside your cloud okay okay Yeah. Any other question, Parag? No. Okay. So let's take this example. So get worker. Say this is the one which I want, right? In this one, you do a right click and say, "Open SOAP RAB request in Web Service Tester." So this is an inbuilt tool in Workday, Web Service Tester, right? Either you do this or sometimes they have an option of web service builder wizard you click on that and what it will do is get worker by specific id or get all workers let's say we do get all worker and next and here you choose what all information do you need about the employee additional job benefits business units career and all that stuff let's go with this that we only need employment information click on finish when you do finish it will open up this tester right so here it is this is your visdel this is your request message once you click on this green thing here right send request it will send the request to the tenant and get you the data right for getting this data it is using the security permissions of the account that you have logged in okay. right now i am connected to the tenant using this super user called t serano so whenever i'll be doing this connection it will connect via that so if that user has access to get the worker data it will be able to fetch the values if not then it will give a error so let's see if i just click on this green thing here it is saying send in progress so it has made that connection and it fetched this data right so if you see this first employee is this logan mcneil right and it has all the id type what country custom id and all all those stuff right so this is how you get the web server right now let me choose a a very particular one and take his id where is it first name and then what is worker id worker id is this 2102106 2106. i will copy this and now first i did get all workers now let me do the other get worker by id right so in this we specify okay. the id like which id is this worker underscore id so okay i'll just say finish and where is that did i choose right ah so here it is right employee id let me show you again i'll cross this one again this book the web service builder get all workers no i want to get by worker id next now here you have the option what okay. id right so let me choose employee id and i can even populate that id here let me put it here and finish then it will populate it right away so employee id is this now let me send the request and it got me the data right so this is the user so we are just testing whether we are able to fetch the data or not using the web service right this is why because we are getting the get 
we are using the get worker data right so get web services is just to fetch data but if you use import or put or submit that is used for loading the data okay okay so and now let's see how we call this right so now if you see here this is human resources if you see this yeah yeah this is the functional area you can say so i will copy this and i'll show you where to do this so we will go to our studio work day out so so property view in this property you have these two things which are mandatory yeah so application is what is the functional area so you just copy paste this make sure there is no extra stuff there and is asking for version what version there just copy the version we okay point so on c and paste it here and save it and connect this to this what we are doing here is logging the message and then storing it as a file that is but now for web service to work you need the request right this is the request which needs to go yeah yeah and then this is the response that you will get so how to pass the request that's the question here what do you think we need to do that means the message which has to go to this component needs to be that request uh, we can add a sync mediation and and which component uh, xslt xslt is one by but there you have to write the code but here we have a fixed request yeah so what can we use you said right async is for sure we need to do because that's the place where we need to after this what could be what do we have to do in order to make sure that we we pass this request yeah so what do you think how can we pass yes you don't have to be right all this uh like do we have access lt there there yeah. slt is fine that's one of the right answer but access lt is used if say you have to do some modification right if you have to pass a fixed message to this one what component can be used we can use copy but copy so okay if you say copy let's do this i will say take copy now where do you put because in the property of copy you have input as message output as uh, where will you write that there is no i mean copy you cannot be really used then so what else uh do we have that in store uh... store is used for storing creating the file in the output we don't have to create the file we have to just send that request to this meaning yeah. for this component the message should be this this should be the input to the next component how can we do that yeah Shiva is saying right component. Yeah. Why didn't you say that? Why you have? What did? What is right component used for? In the right, you can have the message. Yeah, message builder content. You can remove. you can put a text one you can also put a file and all that so once you put a text right you can just copy this all stuff come here and then paste it here 
So then the output of the right step will be what? It will be the message, right? And yeah. this is the message. So this message okay. will go as an input to this. No? Yes? No? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ask any questions you have. Yes. Basics should be clear. If you have any doubt, do let me know. Okay. So in write, I thought we uh, write uh, usually the like text things. So this is text. Uh, what is there? This is a text. Text can be anything. You write JSON, you write whatever. Text is a text. Yeah. So we can write any program as well, JSON or Excel. Meaning this is a fixed, fixed stuff. If you have click here text, whatever you write there will be in the message. It will not do any coding. Meaning if you do okay. anything here, there are, this is an MBEL, MBEL stuff. If I want to make this dynamic, I can do that. But as of now, we need, just need uh, a standard message. So that's where the right step is used. Okay. 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 So let me save this. But now tell me, are you clear what is happening here? Yeah. Right. So we have workday out soap. Workday out soap needs a request message. And in the output, you will have the response. So for passing the request, we have used right step. We can also use XSLT. But in our this particular use case, XSLT doesn't make sense because XSLT means, again, tell me what's there in the XSLT. In the XSLT, there is a code. And for that code, what will be the input? There has to be some input, right? XSLT yeah. will form over XML. So XSLT is used for modifying an XML. Right, XML yeah. into XML, XML into text, XML into you do whatever kind of stuff you want to do. You can do it via XSLT. So here we cannot use XSLT because there is no input XML on which we have to do some transformation. Okay. That's why. Clear. So I'm, I'm deploying this and okay. then let's see how it goes. Test studio is the So what will be in the output? So here, whatever we have got as the response. Yeah. Thing will be the response after this and same is going to the store step. So meaning we will have a file with this name report output.xml and it will have the output of the web service. That's what I can say, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see how it goes. So it completed and it failed. There is error. That's the error. You detected in local input integration methods. But it generated this poster. Meaning it uh, I think here it is. After put integration message, it is going there and all that stuff. That's why it is given error. So then it generated the file and this one will have a 
will have all that kind of XML. Okay. Okay. So this was the output, the outbound one where you're calling the web service, getting the data, right? Now how about inbound? If you have to load the data, right? For that, I have a very simple method. Let's say if you have to do put, there is this put location and there will also be a get location. E, F, G, H, get location, right? So let me try this. I will do this. Get all locations, next. And the location data, finish. It opens up like this and I run this, it will give me all the kind of locations. So here, if you see, there is a location ID called Barcelona. Let me copy that and then I will close all this. By ID, next location ID, I will put here this ID and finish. So I am passing the ID here and I'm getting all this location data. Right now, yeah. say this is where I'm fetching. Now, say if I have to add a new location, how will I do it? After get, you also have a put put location, right? Like this. This web service is used for loading location. So, if I have to do is open soap wrap request in this tester, it will open up here. Now, since we have to load data into Workday. You see this ABCD, ABCD is a dummy. Now Workday, what it is saying is Workday has made it easier for you. That since you have to create the data, what Workday will do is Workday will populate the web service with dummy data. So okay. that you replace this and you add your values and run this, it will create those. But again, when you create a location in Workday, let me see if that's the task. So when you do create location, you have to give the name. Okay. Usages, you have to select S -O -K, anything and okay. So meaning when you have to create whatever is the red star, those are mandatory thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Meaning for creating a location, you need to know the name, you need to know the usage. And then once you open up, so you see all this is optional. There is no mandatory stuff here. Right. Yeah. I can click on OK. And it can create. That means there is only two things which are required to create. One is the name and one is the usage. Rest all is optional. But here, if you see, there are so many stuff, so many things. Why? Because web service will give you option to populate everything. But, based but on the everything is not. Uh mandatory it's not mandatory so what you can do is you can delete the other stuff which is not needed right so say if you have to create a location first is this location id did you pass the location id in the ui while creating no right workday created no. it on your own so if yeah. you click on here integration id view id workday generated the location id which is auto generated yeah. But here you have an option. Why? Because Workday give, has, is giving you an option of overriding this. So if you pass the value here, whatever you will give, that will be this ID. But if you don't give it, then Workday will create it at location hyphen six hyphen something as per the sequence. Okay, and it is the same ID. Then it is the effective date. Location name was mandatory. So let's yeah. say it as location one. Okay. And then usage ID, usage ID is something which is required. Yeah. So I will see here that what is the usage ID for this one? Business asset, right? Yeah. So this thing is very important. So once you do a get, 
you get all the values so you can take an estimate that okay what do i have to pass in this right so that's okay. why whenever you get an inbound thing to load first try the opposite of it try to do the get once you okay. get the response it will help you in populating the other web service okay so business asset is the value of that See, you come here and then usage ID is this. Rest all is is not needed. But if you still want it, you can populate. Like I want to do it as business site. and then you have to remove but while removing you have to be very careful that you don't delete so if you are deleting the, this tag its corresponding ending tag should also be deleted okay so I, when I do it I open an XML because here what it will do is it will give you the it can tell you whether it is an invalid or valid Right, so here you see you have so long stuff. So location ID, let me give location or let, let's give workday that opportunity to create the ID. We will just create a location. So location data needs to be there because that's the parent tag. So it, it ends here, right? And then you have integration override data. You don't need this one. Then you hierarchy, you don't need integration ID, no contact data is from where this is the contact data. So you don't need full contact data. But you have to be very careful that you delete the full tag. Instructional site. Yep, then you have associate, this is from shift two, is this? Okay, so these are all individual tags, so I can make it all this stuff here. Right, and location ID, now keep it like this. And this is the web service because to try this, copy this and put it in the web service tester, control A and control. So this is our request. What we have done is we have removed all the things which are optional, right? Yeah. Based on this. Now let me first show you view location. What's the one which we are creating? Location here? one. Location one, right? So location one, so there, it's not there. Right. So now let me send this request. So if you see what it says, effective date cannot be specified when creating a new location. Right. So this is a work web service error. And what does it say? When you are creating a new one, you don't need effective date. Okay. Fine. We, by mistake, we did that. Right. Because when we created a new location online, there was no option of date. So yeah. Fine. We agree. And we say sorry to work there. We correct it and then uh, now it says created this ID. Okay. Right now let's go there and now search for this again. So it got created. And if I go to the new ID, it's that P18 and the other it is P18. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what if if I send you that? What will happen? Uh, I didn't get that. Can you repeat? If I send this request again, will Workday create another one? It, I think it should override. It will uh, create another one, I think. Why? Because okay. since it is creating in Workday, the key field, the unique field is this ID. Name can be duplicate. 
But if you specify a location ID, then it will not uh, duplicate, right? Uh, let's say if you are uh, mentioning the location ID, then it will not duplicate. Create only one. Okay. Now, if you have to do it via the via Workday Studio, what will you do? You will copy this. Yeah. And you go to your this part here in the right step. Yes. This builder. Delete this one and place it here. Human. Okay, so it will remain same. 